On Tuesday, 29th June 2021, when St. Lucia welcomes its first cruise call since the pandemic, passengers of the Celebrity Millennia vessel will be subject to varied experiences based on their COVID-19 vaccination status. A distinction between fully vaccinated and non-fully vaccinated passengers will be made, and this will determine the extent of liberties they may enjoy during their visit. And margaret Adams is the Director of Product Development in the Ministry of Tourism. So the fully vaccinated passengers are those who actually have completed the regimen, the COVID-19 vaccination reg regimen, which is approved by the Ministry of Health. So they would have had to arrive in St. Lucia at least two weeks. It would have been at least two weeks prior to the arrival in mm -hmm. St. Lucia. So these are your fully vaccinated visitors. And these persons will be allowed to free room, as we say, just like your land-based visitors. They can enjoy the services. Um, they can participate in your tours, they can go to the supermarket, they can, do the, they can go to the beaches as well. And these persons will be identified by a wristband. And what we have, um, we have allowed them to utilize a white wristband, which will differentiate them from your non-fully vaccinated um, visitors. Non-fully vaccinated passengers are defined as a visitor who has either taken one dose of a COVID-19 vaccine or no dose at all. These passengers will be allowed to enjoy excursions in a controlled and supervised manner and will not be allowed to roam public spaces like the city centre. They are non-fully vaccinated. They are not allowed to be taking pictures and roaming the city. They will be operating within a bubble, bubble. of predetermined experiences. They would have to book through your cruise agents or through the cruise desk. Adams assures that despite this and other controls in the subsector, as it is gradually reintroduced, locals will be able to immensely benefit. She says fully vaccinated passengers will be allowed to patronize shops in the city center, as was the norm pre-COVID, and the vendor's arcade will be open to receive passengers. So your locals will be able to participate. I can say that um, the ministry has been working assiduously in preparing them for providing services. Um, your tours, your transportation sector, your transportation providers, your sites and attractions, um, your vendors. And in fact, as of yesterday, we had a meeting with our vendors to prepare them in terms of what are the expectations, what are the guidelines surrounding you know, cruise passengers when they do come in. So the locals will be able to participate. I must say that they'll be able to benefit from the services that they will be able to provide to your fully vaccinated as well as those who are non-vaccinated but within a bubble. The inaugural return of cruise tourism on June 29 with the Celebrity Millennium jumpstarts the season that will see most of the 30 scheduled calls between August and October of this year.